Welcome to an overview of SOLIDWORKS product activation. My name is Nathan and I will describe product activation and show you firsthand how to manage your activations. What is product activation? Product activation is designed to verify a SOLIDWORKS product license and to make sure that nobody else is using your license. It replaces the old registration code process. It's a quick and easy one-time process and it's a common software validation process. Product activation is becoming the new standard for software licensing today and is in use by many software suppliers. Product activation involves only a few simple steps that take place upon first launch of your SOLIDWORKS product. During the activation process, SOLIDWORKS verifies the product serial number and activates the software on your machine. You can activate your software over the internet for computers that are directly connected to the internet. Or by email for those computers that aren't. This method is used for computers that are not directly connected and once activated the software is ready to be used and doesn't require further action. I'll show you how easy it is to activate. Upon initial installation you're presented with this screen. Choose the Activate Now. Activate automatically over the internet and choose whether this is for home or office use. Enter your contact information. When you hit Next, it communicates with the activation server. This only takes a few seconds. Once it responds, it will inform you that your activation has succeeded. Email activation is very similar. Choose Activate Manually via email and choose whether this is home or office. Enter your contact information. Hit the Save, which saves out a request file. It prompts you where you'd like to save it. Once you've saved it, you can attach that to an email from any computer and send it in to SOLIDWORKS. Almost immediately you're sent a response that you can open. You browse to the file that's been sent back to you and it activates your SOLIDWORKS product. At times you might need to transfer your license. For instance, if you plan to buy a new computer, you can transfer your software license from your current computer back to the license server. To transfer a license, go to the Help pull-down menu in SOLIDWORKS and select Transfer. To transfer your license back to the SOLIDWORKS license server, choose Automatically over the Internet. It communicates with the activation server and it'll inform you that your transaction has completed. When do you need to transfer or activate? Upon initial installation is when you need to activate. If you need to format a computer, you need to transfer the license off. You also need to transfer before uninstalling SOLIDWORKS and getting a new computer, or if you want to temporarily work from a different location. Transferring a license We'll leave the software installed and just remove the key. If you ever receive an error or warning that says activation count exceeded, you simply need to go to your other computer and transfer the license off before activating on this new computer. <laughs> 